Hi, I'm Kelsey Brown. Welcome to my Brooklyn townhouse. Come on in. We are in Brooklyn Heights. I live in an 1856 townhouse, brownstone, and this is our main floor. A lot of this beautiful crown molding and these details which drew us to this house, they were added in the early 1900s, including this amazing fresco on the ceiling. We walked in, my husband and I, and we just fell in love with this detail and this history, which you, it's really hard to find that. And it was so in such pristine condition, which is just truly amazing. So when we first bought this home, everything was painted white. And we, especially myself, I love color, obviously. Um, my brand is all about color and pattern. So we thought we would bring out this beautiful teal blue in the ceiling and just, just immerse the entire room with it. So we decided to do a little modern take on painting the whole room, this teal blue color. So the bottom paneling, as you can see, is a darker shade of the top. So let me show you some of my favorite things in this home. For one, I love my entry table. This has actually been with my family for 30 plus years. And fun fact, when Alec and I first moved to New York and we were in a small little West Village apartment, this used to be our kitchen table. So lots of good memories with our entryway table here. So one of my really great finds was this couch over here from One King's Lane. So many people ask me if it's custom because of the fringe and the detail, but this was a truly great find out of the box from One King's Lane. These are palm leaf lucite lamps from the 70s and we found them on Cherish. This rug was actually one of the first things we found and this is from ABC Home, which all New Yorkers know and love. Um, and when we found this rug, it was a great inspiration for all the different colors in it. So the beautiful pinks and the blues and the chartreuse. So one of the great things about this apartment is there's actually four fireplaces. While a lot of people like to whitewash wood, I, that's a very common trend nowadays, we decided to keep the original wood and the original finish. And I love this because it just makes you jump back in time as if you're back in the 1800s. Now we're going to come into the dining room or the rear parlor. One of my favorite features of this is actually there are original pocket doors, which is really fun. This is our dining room. We actually spend a, a lot of time in here. I think traditionally many dining rooms are to the side in their own room, but this is really a part of the whole home. These are original china cabinets that have been built in and here since the 1800s. I love it because it stores all my colorful dishes. In our dining room, we knew we wanted to have a bar cart and I wanted something a little more fun than the average glass and brass bar cart. We found this Aldo Tura bar cart from Italy from the 1970s. We actually found it through First Dibs and had it shipped here during quarantine. So that was a fun little quarantine surprise. So this is our sunroom and we spend so much time in here. This is where Alec and I and our little dog George, um, this is where we eat breakfast on the weekends. It's very cozy and it's the sunniest room in the whole home. And when we first came in, it was just kind of a boring white room and we just wanted to make it a little sanctuary at the end of our parlor space. So we, my interior designer actually had this idea to paint the stripes on the wall. Um, so these were actually all hand painted using lasers and a lot of tape, um, but it's a really fun effect. This tapestry, my husband and I were in India in January pre-COVID and we were in Jaipur, which is the city of textiles, and we found this beautiful tapestry there and we brought it back and thought it was absolutely perfect for this room. This was a great find that my interior designer Nick helped with and it's one of these beautiful peacock chairs from the 1970s vintage and we found it through Cherish from this antique store down south and mailed it in but it's like a little throne which I love. This chandelier we actually found from Circle Lighting. I absolutely love it. I think the white it almost blends into the ceiling but these beautiful flowers just give it a certain touch that you can't find anywhere else. I absolutely love animal print and I think animal print is sort of a neutral, if you will. We decided to run this carpet through here and this is like 
this little jewel in our home. Um, I'm a big fan of the Wes Anderson Instagram account, and to me, this is accidentally Wes Anderson. We painted the bookcase chartreuse, and it's lacquered, so it's nice and shiny. This is our Pepper Frida print in pink. It is our best-selling print, and it's sort of a modern take on a chinoiserie print, which is so fun. This is our master bedroom, and I love how cheerful and bright this is. A classic, like, blue and red color palette. I love this headboard. We had this made, and it's a nice, whimsical red velvet, and I like how it brings out the red piping in our Eden pillows. And this rug I actually found in a Brooklyn rug store in Williamsburg. And I love the classic colors and how it juxtaposes with this nice bedding. Um, and my real favorite part of this whole bedroom is the sitting area, which is so fun. This wallpaper is Pepper Home and we had matching um, lampshades made out of our fabric, which I love. This is our Jasper fabric. And this dresser is one of my favorite things in this home. It's from a company called the CEH. It's made in America, and what they did is they found an antique dresser, and then we customized the paint color for this lacquer to match. We gotta get this little guy on a walk. Bye, thank you so much for coming to our home.